today in the shack, we're going to go over a mobile GMRS radio that was sent to me by Retevis. This is a RA25 20 watt GMRS mobile radio. Now, one thing unique about this I find is that it's just so small. You know, it's a little bigger than a deck of cards. But today's video is going to be very brief. It's going to be giving you an introduction, an overview, and we're going to have some good plans for this radio. I want to put this in a car and give this a workout. But today, since I just got this, I'm just going to give you a brief overview and you can take a look. I'm also going to do a quick power check to make sure it delivers correct power with the cigarette lighter input. Okay. So this radio comes, it comes with a little cigarette lighter plug. I'll show you here, right here. And the radio itself is pretty small. You'll see it here. And it's actually, you know, quite small and comes with a little color LCD display, which you'll see and little knob here and antenna jack in the back speak external speaker comes with a nice little microphone too here like this and it has keypad buttons so you could do things and has controls on the top as well so um yeah let's give it the power up and a power check and then in the other video i'm going to take it out and test it in the car and see how it does so in the box the radio comes in a bit of plastic you have to take it out and I um, I took it out the bag. Uh, like I, I said, it's pretty small. The cigarette lighter cord is hidden under this little piece of cardboard there. And you can, of course, cut that off and wire that directly into your vehicle system. So, you know, no worries there. You don't have to use a cigarette lighter plug. So it comes out pretty easily. And there you have the nice front display with the knob and such like that and the um, RJ45. And the cigarette lighter plug, of course, comes with it. And next up, we get the accessories. We get a microphone, which is also RJ45. We get, um, it has the buttons on the front, which are pretty interesting. It comes with a mobile mounting bracket, a microphone clip, and little screws on the side. So next, let's go to the operation. Well, okay, so I plugged it in and turned it on. I use an EcoFlow solar generator to actually get 12 volts power. And if you notice how you turn it on is there's a knob there with a switch, pretty basic controls. And um, there are several buttons on the front. This thing is button driven. There's a VFO mode, which you can go on. And oddly enough, it goes to amateur frequencies when you turn, when you change the VFO mode. So, um, but I did check, you cannot transmit in amateur, on these amateur frequencies. Uh, you can only do GM, you can only transmit on the GMRS frequencies. So um, there are several of these GMRS frequencies programmed in the simplex ones, and you can and they're programmed in with high and low power, which we're going to test in a moment. So this thing uh, I've seen uh, I've seen as high as 20 watts high power. So let's go ahead and uh, test this. Okay, so the high power test shows us about let's say about almost 20 watts, which is within spec. And um, I'm quite surprised since it's using a cigarette lighter plug. Of course, I'm using the Surecom. So you're seeing the forward 17.6 and reverse 2.15 watts. All right, low power mode. Um, we're getting about 7 watts, so that seems to be good. So, you know. All right, so we're clear to go. And um, like I said, in the next video, we're going to take this into the car. And we're going to try some... Um, uh, you know, going around town with it and such like that. All right, so this is the RA25 if you want to get one. Link in the description below, and I'll see you in the next video.